Assalamualaikum, my name is Widi Mutakin from Expose Academy. In this tutorial video, we're going to model a toilet like this image using Blender. Now this video is the second part of the tutorial. So make sure you watch the first part if you haven't done so already. This is the model we already have from the first part. In this part, we're going to add more details to our toilet. First, we'll add the flush tank cover, then the flush lever, the seater and finally the toilet cover. Oh yes, and also the hinges for the seater and the cover. First, the flush tank cover. Basically, we're going to add a line or a gap in this area. Press Ctrl R, click, and move this to where we want to have the gap. Left click to commit. Ctrl B to do bevel. Try not to making it too big. Okay, now we want to extrude these face loops. But we cannot use ordinary extrude as it will move all of them to one direction. What we really need is all of these faces extrude together, but each of the faces move to its own normal direction. If you don't know what normal direction is, basically it's a direction perpendicular to each of the face areas. Okay, to do extrusion using the normal direction, we need to press Alt E, then choose this one. Region vertex normals. As we can see, they stick together, but each faces move independently in terms of direction. Okay, we want to make this sharp when subdivided later. So we need to add more edge loops around this area. We can do this in many ways, but let's just use loop cut and slide for now by pressing Ctrl R. Slide this so it is near the top edges. Add another loop cut down here and slide this also so they close to the bottom edge loop of the gap. Now let's zoom in. Add loop cut again in here and make it 3 edge loop cut by scrolling the mouse up twice. Click then right click. Now press S to go to scale mode then Z to constrain it to Z axis and just scale up until we have something like this. Next, we want to create the flush lever. We can create this from a cylinder and without using any subdivision modifier. Go to object mode first. Then left click in this position to move the 3D cursor. This way, the new cylinder will be positioned in here. Go to side view by pressing 3 on the numpad. Now shift A and then choose mesh, cylinder. Remember, don't do anything else now. Change this vertices value to 20, radius to 0 0.15. I still think this is too big. 0 0.13 should be good, I guess. We can always scale it later. For the depth, change it to 0 0.5. And finally, this is important, scroll down until you see this option aligned to view. Click on it. Notice the cylinder will reorient to our viewing angle. Since our viewport is from the side view, the cylinder will be straight horizontal on the x-axis. Now rotate the viewport and zoom to the object by pressing dot key on the numpad. Go to edit mode by pressing tab, Control R, click and slide it to around this location. Left click to confirm. Now go to face mode and select these two faces down here. Extrude about this long, scale it down a bit, and select this face, extrude, scale it down. If you don't like the proportion, you can always scale it and or just move this around until you like the position, okay? Before moving on to model the seater and the cover, Notice how this flush lever looks so jagged or not smooth. If we go to object mode and then choose smooth in here, we get this ugly looking model. Because for example these edges down here, the shading of it should be sharp, not smooth like this. Now normally we can go to edge mode and flag the edges to sharp. But that will be too long to discuss in this video, so I just going to show you a quick way to fix this face smoothing group issue. Go to properties window and you will see this sub panel called data. 
the icon will look like a triangle with dots if currently we have mesh object selected. If we have other type of object, the data panel icon will look like something else. Up here, you will see Auto Smooth option. Just turn this on and voila, our object's face smoothing groups is fixed. Okay, you might be wondering what this 30 degree angle value means. Well, it means any faces that bend lower than 30 degrees from each other will be smoothed out. Faces that form angle higher than this 30 degree value will look sharp on where their edges meet. So basically, this is a threshold value for Blender to determine when to smooth and when to sharpen the edges. I hope this is clear. Okay, next we want to create the toilet seater. For this, we want to model it from the existing toilet object. So make sure you are in object mode. Shift D to duplicate, then press Z so the movement constraints to the Z axis. Place it above here. Go to edit mode, then go to face mode. We might want to turn off the subdivision modifier first for now. Hold Alt and right click on this edge. Then Ctrl plus to expand the selection. Now we want to delete everything except the selected faces. Press Ctrl I first to inverse the selection. Press X and then choose faces. Move this down so it's on top of the toilet. Now go to vertex mode and press A to select them all. We want to make it fatter. What I mean by that is each vertices need to move along their own normal direction. To do this, we can press Alt S or if you forget, you can go to Mesh menu, Transform, Shrink and Fatten. So this is where you can find the command if not using the shortcut. I will use Alt S. Now move the mouse down a bit. Let's see, I think 0 0.02 should be enough. Next, select this face loop. Move this up a bit. Control R, add a loop cut. Move this up also a bit. Okay, now we actually don't need this back part. So go to wireframe mode, select this vertex, then hold Control. Select this one also. Press X and delete the vertices. We can turn on the subdivision modifier now. Okay, you might notice that our seater is volumeless. It's like paper as it doesn't have any thickness. If you never need to animate the model and see it from the back side, this is probably fine for you. You don't really need to add thickness to it. But just in case you need to animate this seater, you need to add thickness to the model. And this is fairly easy in Blender with the help of Solidify modifier. So go to modifier panel, add Solidify modifier, which is this one. With this modifier, we can drag this thickness value left and right. And we can see our model now has some thickness. Perhaps turning on the auto smooth will help us to see the thickness. Let's go back to Solidify. I think minus 0 0.02 will be good number for the thickness. Okay, move this down a bit so it's touching the toilet again. Next is the cover. Now I'm going to be lazy on this one. Just copy the seater up. Turn off all of the modifier first. Go to edit mode. Basically, we want to close the hole in here. Go to vertex mode, then select this whole edge loop. Grow the selection. Delete them. Now select the edge loop in here. Press F to fill it with a new face. Insert it about this size. Then move this up a bit. We can leave this face like this, but in 3D modeling, a quad polygon is always preferable than a non-quad polygon. So select this vertex and this vertex. Press J to join the two vertices with a new edge. 
then these two vertices also, and finally this vertex, and this vertex, press J also. Turn all of the modifiers back on. We want to have this cover open, so we can see the inner part of the toilet when rendered. So make sure we are in object mode, press R, X, then minus 90. Go to side view and press G to move this cover to about this position. The last thing we need to model is the hinge. For the hinge, we need three hinges. Two hinges for the cover at the left and the right side, and then one hinge at the center for the seater. Press Shift C to center the 3D cursor, then Shift A, choose cylinder. As we can see at the left bottom part, Blender will use our previous cylinder object setting we have before for the flush lever, which is okay for now. Let's just move the cylinder up, press R, then Y, then type 90 to turn it horizontally. Go to side view and press G and move this to this location where approximately the seater and the cover rotational center located. Then go to edit mode, scale this a bit. I think 0 0.6 will be good. Now select this face and this face. Alt E, choose extrude normal, roughly about this long. Then change the pivot point to individual origin. Then press S to scale it down about this size. Select all with A. Then move this to the right. Next, we want to have another hinge at the left side also. We can do this easily with a modifier called mirror. So go to modifier panel in the properties window and add mirror modifier. You might notice that there is nothing on the left side. Why? Well, because mirror modifier works in local coordinate of the object, not the global coordinate. Because we rotate the cylinder before 90 degrees, this direction is not x, but actually z-axis based on the local coordinate of the cylinder. So turn off the x-axis in here, and turn on the z-axis. Now we can see the left hinge is created automatically by the mirror modifier. Next, we need to create the center hinge, which is for the seater. So make sure all of these faces are selected. Shift D to duplicate, then press X so the movement is constrained to the X axis. Now select this face, grow the selection, and delete them. Go to edge mode and select this whole edge loop at this whole area, and move this towards the center. Now you might notice that we can move this past the mirror plane, which is currently located at the center. We can avoid this behavior by turning on the clipping option in the mirror modifier. So go to the modifier panel and turn on this clipping option. Now, when we move these edges to the center, it will never be able to pass the mirror plane, which is nice. Okay, the last step is to take care of the smoothing group problem. Go to object mode. Set this to smooth, then go to the data panel and turn on the auto smooth option. I know the hinges are not exactly physically correct, it's kind of a hack, but for this tutorial, I guess this will just do fine. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, our toilet model finally finished. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Wassalamualaikum.